Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use and read a digital caliper. A caliper can take measurements in four different ways, using the outside jaws, inside jaws, depth probe, and using the step. A digital caliper is by far the easiest to use and read, can operate in both imperial and metric measurements. However, it is the most expensive to purchase and does require electronic upkeep, being battery replacement. Just like any other precision measuring instrument, this should never be dropped, always kept clean and free of any foreign contaminants, and checked periodically to ensure its accuracy. To go over the parts of the caliper, first is the outside jaws, which is used to measure the outside diameter, length, width, or thickness of an object. Next is the inside jaws, used to measure the inside width of a slot, groove, or hole, or the inside diameter of a bore. The depth probe or rod used to measure a groove, slot, step or hole. The beam or sometimes referred to as the bar is the frame of the caliper that is stationary and houses the depth probe. A measuring scale used to determine the measurement, in this case only really used as a visual reference as the digital display provides the full reading. Here is the fine adjustment thumb wheel to achieve accuracy when setting up or adjusting the feel or drag when measuring an object. Then the thumb grip for quick or large adjustments. A thumb screw lock to hold the caliper measurement in place. The digital readout which shows the current measurement both in imperial and metric readings. The buttons around the display are used to turn the caliper on or off, zero the measurement, and to switch between measuring systems. Battery locations and access door types may vary. Just to give you an idea for this one, the door simply slides open and the battery sits in place. Always ensure the surfaces you are measuring is clean of any surface imperfections and dirt. Make sure the measuring points on the caliper are also clean as this can affect the accuracy of our readings. Close the jaws and zero the digital readout by pressing the button close to the digital display. Using the outside jaws to take the first measurement using the imperial measurement for this scrap piece of aluminum. I'll show you metric in a moment. We need mild drag on the surface where the part is still movable, yet we can still feel some surface drag. Apply the lock if needed and take the reading. This particular caliper will provide accuracy up to 5 tenths of a thou or 0 0.0005. Our first measurement is 0. 0.5755 or 575 thousandths or thou and 5 tenths of an inch. Next using the step measurement, close the caliper, make sure it is zeroed. You may need to adjust the jaws slightly to help the measurement surfaces rest on the edge. Then push the caliper into place. Just to give you a view of how the step measurement sits with the reference to the part, apply the lock if needed. Our final measurement is 0 0.521 or 521 thousandths of an inch. Now switching over to metric, this can be done very easily with the press of a button. Again, we need to close the caliper and make sure the readout is zeroed using the depth probe this time to measure the depth of the threaded hole. Extend the probe long enough so it's able to bottom out and we still need some added length which allows the measuring surface of the beam to close against the object. Just to give you a reference as to how far the depth probe can reach inside the threaded hole, this may be limited as the probe may sometimes be too large to fit in a small hole. This gives us a final measurement of 25.59 millimeters. And finally using the inside jaws. Ensure the measuring surfaces are clean on both the part and the caliper. Insert the jaws, this time around I am using the slot. There should be mild drag on the object, this does take some practice to get used to the feel. Then take the final reading, here we have 33.13 millimeters. When using this caliper we can easily switch between measuring systems, imperial to metric or metric to imperial with the press of a button so no calculations or conversions are required. While a digital caliper does make taking measurements extremely easy, you should still learn the basics with a vernier caliper. This concludes the rest of my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thank you for watching.